Hey, 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 welcome back to the car, Sharker. My name is Jimmy Prater. I'm a car closer. That's what I do. I close car deals. I close and close and close. I close car deals. And you do the same thing. You close and close and close and close car deals too. Now, you're new in the business, right? You're new in the business. Welcome. Welcome to the industry. This is an outstanding business. This is an outstanding industry. You can make a lot of money. You can have a lot of fun at the same time. You can. I want to talk to you about capitalizing on your opportunity now. You got to capitalize on your opportunity. You have millions and millions of dollars worth of inventory out there just to sell. You have millions of dollars of inventory out there. You have a great product line. You have a wonderful management. You have wonderful support. And you have energy built up in that store. Now, what comes after energy is motivation. Okay? And this is what I'm talking about, capitalizing on the opportunity. You have the motivation because you already have the self-motivation to go get a job working at a car dealership. So now you got to capitalize on it. You have the product. You've got the training there. you got great energy in the store. And that's what takes to sell cars is energy, right? Because where does the motivation come from? The motivation comes from the energy. And once you hire somebody, somebody new, like you, I'm talking to you, if you're brand new in the business, and now all of a sudden you bring your own self-motivation, you can't do anything but go up. Now you have to build your own habits, your own selling habits. You got to follow a sales process. And that sales process starts right from the very beginning of the meet and greeting of a customer. You have to follow a sales process. That sales process is going to lead into a closing process. And you're going to do this and you're going to make it happen by being what? By making it a habit. You got to make it a habit. That's all you got to do. Make it a habit. You already took the leap, the leap of jumping into a new business. And now you're going to take action by utilizing all the tools that the dealership is going to give you. They given you, they are giving you tools. They're giving you tools to be successful. And you're going to stay focused and motivated to do that by building your habits. And what do they say? It takes 14 days to build a habit. That's it. Keep doing the same thing over and over and over. It becomes a habit. And guess what? You're going to be making money. This is your career. This is your career. And you ought to be happy that you're in this business. You ought to be happy that you understand now to be successful. You got to follow the process because you take any billionaire out there. They have habits. That's what they do. They have habits. They build those habits off their motivation. Their motivation comes from their energy. And they have the will to win. They have the will to win. They don't talk about it. They take action. This is action. It's like a movie. You click it. Action. Let's go. It's time. The camera's rolling. You're on stage now. You got to remember the sales process. And those habits, like I said, 14 days, it comes a habit, right? Then it becomes muscle memory. When you get lost in the sauce of a sale, and that happens. The sale's going south, and you don't know what's going on. It's going south. Think about what stage of the process of the sale you're at. And salespeople, you are closers. Because the final stage in your process is asking for the sale. So if you're at a stage where you didn't have, you had a bumpy, you had a bumpy meet and greet, let's just start over. Start over and re reintroduce yourself to the customer. Just stop and just say, you know what? I, I, I don't think I properly introduced myself. People love honesty. That's a great characteristic in any business. They love it when you can admit a mistake. Throw your hands up and say, yep, you're right. I made a mistake on anything. I have a friend that's an umpire in the Major League Baseball. And I asked him one time, tell me a time. You know, it's interesting to me. I said, tell me a time when, an, when a, a manager came out and kicked dirt at you. He says, honestly, it's never happened to me. I said, why not? He said, 
I admit my mistake right away. He said one time the Detroit Tigers were playing the, the New York Yankees at New York. And he said he's behind home plate. Ball comes in. And for whatever reason, he made the wrong call. He knew he made the wrong call, but he called it. And he said, I could feel the tension coming out. I could feel the tension coming out. Like the same thing when you do something wrong during a sale, you feel the tension from the customer. Now hear me out here. My buddy says, the umpire, he says, I just called time out. I walked over to Yankees dugout and I said, every man is allowed a mistake, right? And they said, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They backed right off. They backed off him like there was no, no tomorrow. He said, I just went, whoo. And he said, I couldn't handle him. I knew he was coming. I knew he was coming out. And I just said, hey, you know, I know I made a mistake. I made a bad call. And sometimes that happens. You make a bad call. Now you're here. You're going to take action. You, that's what you're going to do. You're going to capitalize on the opportunity that you have in front of you. And I'm really excited for you. I'm really excited for you. You're going to have a lot of fun in this business because you're here. You're here. Hey, now, if you saw anything in this video that helped you out, give you any tips or anything, give me some feedback on it. I'd appreciate it. And I, also, if you want to see some more of these videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell button every time I upload a new video. Go give you notified. <laughs> All right. Hey, do yourself a favor. My name is Jimmy Prater. Go close something. Yeah.